Whatever your dreams, HCC can make them reality. College classes, extra training, a new career. Be whatever you want to be. From HCC, you can go anywhere. HCC, smart decision. We're going to talk about the stinking cowboys. We have to talk about the cowboys because they're like crime, roaches, and humidity in Houston and traffic. You just have to deal with it. That's right. Cowboy fans just have to be dealt with. So we're going to go back out on the ACC campus. We're going to look and find out what the fans think about what the Cowboys should do in the first round. The Cowboys need uh, an offensive tackle to shore up that offensive line to protect Tony Romo so he's not getting blindsided again from the backside. And they also need some uh, interior, uh, they need some better linebackers. And they also need a defensive lineman to, to uh, block up that interior. I was hoping they was going to get Sean Rogers, but the New Orleans Saints uh, sacked it, uh, wrapped him up yesterday. I think the Cowboys will draft in the first round. I really don't care because I'm not a Cowboys fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like his answer. I like huh? that answer. <laughs> and I like what the professor said. He started off with the offensive line. Last year was the worst offensive line play that I've seen out of the Dallas Cowboys. And one thing playing in the NFC East division, as I did for those many years, when you think Dallas Cowboys, you think big, massive, mean offensive linemen. And I just didn't see that out of them. They have so much explosiveness when you talk about their skill positions from Tony Romo to Miles Austin to the three-headed running back monster. I really think they need to focus on the offensive line. And I'm not just talking about one pick. I'm talking about spending their first round pick on either uh, Tyron out of USC. I don't think they'll go after him, even though he's the best offensive tackle. The he's most my mock draft pick. He's your mock draft pick. He is, yeah. I used to respect you. They, he, they can't go after him because he doesn't fit the mold of a Dallas Cowboy offensive lineman. You know who does? Anthony Costanza. There it is. 6'7", 300 pounds, mean, nasty, not quite as athletic, but they just want road graders, and I think he fits the mold, so I would like to see him with that star in his helmet. Then I would like to see them just go down the street to TCU and get the big, massive Marcus Cannon, 350 pounds, to really shore up that offensive line. Cannon would play tackle at TCU. He projects to guard, guard. the NFL. They're worried about his weight, but he sure ran pretty well at 350. A lot of people think they need a defensive tackle or a defensive end, and I do not think the problem was with their front seven. Their problem was their secondary. Some mock drafts have them taking Prince of Mucamara, cornerback from Nebraska, even though their current corners are former number one picks. I don't see them doing that. And if they were to take one of those defensive linemen, it would be a bigger guy because Rob Ryan, the new coordinator, wants bigger defensive linemen because they're two gap players compared to Wade Phillips, one gap. So they might go for J.J. Watt of Wisconsin, who's about 290. Cam Jordan from Cal is 287. So I think we, we agree on the position, the offensive tackle. We just disagree on the player. You say Constanza. I'll say Tyron Smith from USC.